has been the kid that was infected. And what's crazy is that germs can live on a hard surface like this (laughs) for up to nine days. And so you can see how important it is to disinfect the things a sick person regularly touches. Everybody, we just got done with our other video, so. Mm-hmm. Let them know, D. All right, so we're back with another reaction video. This one is called How to See Germ Spread. And it's basically, uh. It's. Uh, it, it's basically around the coronavirus. TikTok, that's going TikTok, around. And, and, and on people, and on TikTok, people be talking about the coronavirus. They be, be like, oh, I have to wash my hands. Mm-hmm. Piss soap on, piss soap on. They and they have to take everything. They yeah. be they be getting so they be be in panic about their house. They, they do. want their house to be right. And the stress. Uh, mm-hmm. This video is going to be perfect for Dalen because he's going to see how germs are spread. He kind of doesn't really understand why he has to wash his hand all, all the time. So I thought this would be the perfect. A learning video to teach him the importance of how germs spread how you can't see the germs on your hands but they're definitely there and especially with the coronavirus going around we definitely want to keep and it's him coming around safe. every and it's coming about and my mom just watched that movie about the, the coronavirus mm-hmm. it was sick nobody covered their mouth right they they knows mm-hmm. anything right and they just had to go to the doctor they mm-hmm. close their mouth when, when, and 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 cold yeah and cold skin comes in their mouth <laughs> and he's four and he acts like a fourteen year old so he's very smart he knows everything he remembers everything but before we get into the video make sure you give the video a big fat the thumbs up like DJ say right leave us a comment down below tell mm-hmm. us if you enjoyed this video or not so also video. subscribe to so. our channel follow us on our instagram follow us on our facebook and tiktok let's get into the video all right mm-hmm. let's go y'all i've always thought if we could somehow just see the germs around us everyone would be a Yo. lot more careful and we get that? sick way less unfortunately that's still not possible so i did the next best thing by running a day-long experiment in this third grade classroom I found this powder called glow germ, and glow just germ. like real germs, when it's on your hands, you can't see it. But unlike real germs, if you turn a black light on, it becomes visible. But it transfers to things you've touched, it's so it cool. provides a really good way to visualize exactly how germs That's spread. Germs. So before the kids arrived, as a control, I went around so and noted any pre-existing spots in the room that fluoresced He's under the black light, and then it was stuff. go time. The kids, of course, had no idea what we were doing, and that the teacher had been secretly infected with the glowing powder. So she randomly shook the hands of three kids but didn't touch any of the rest and so with that they just went about their normal day they didn't wash the for they go outside i did choose one random student and he agreed to let me put some of the powder on his hands too and then two hours later at lunchtime i checked the results remember everything you see here started with just the teacher and one student having a little of that powder on their hands and because my flashlight can only illuminate one spot at a time i used photoshop to better visualize our observations where germs were left behind including on the other kids look at that all over here it's pretty hot and they were actually pretty diligent about washing their hands. See? This was the desk of the Ew. kid that was infected. And what's crazy is that germs can live on a hard surface like this <laughs> for up to nine days. Wow. And so you can see how important it is to disinfect the things see a sick that? person regularly touches. Yeah. For example, this was they the phone, phone of the teacher they in the experiment. Even if you wash your show. hands really yeah. often, if you immediately pull out your That's phone, like a lot face. of those Does germs just go right back on your hands. Guys, Think about when the last time was that you cleaned your phone. My friend right. Joanne at the Wall Street Journal recently demonstrated you can clean your phone with an antibacterial wipe every day for at least a year and it doesn't affect the oleophobic coating at all. And this hopefully gives you a better yeah. mental model of why it's, it's really more. important to wash your hands or use hand sanitizer after being in places that like this you know, or this my mom or this. Would come. You know those, you know my mama would come for those, for those kids. You because know, even if a virus is spread through airborne you know transmission, those, those tiny droplets yeah. don't stay you there for long. Mama, and they really land on like surfaces Get up that to be touched right now. by our like hands. That. Which raises know. an important no, point. The ultimate yeah. defense against catching yeah. a virus is just don't touch your touch face. Your, face. Right. your eyes and your mouth are like the single weak spot that gets when it comes to viruses. That's the only way they can get in to infect 
enough. But, but as you can see here, not touching text, your well, face is mm. easier said than done. Ooh, you see all them touching their face? And before you think, yeah, well, that's uh, just kids for you. This is what the too. teacher's face looked like at the end of the day. Wow. And she said she tried extra hard to remember not to touch her face. Wow. I found this uh, result fascinating. So I put the powder on my own hands for a few hours, and I resisted the urge to touch my face so many times that I fully expected I was going to have a perfectly clean no, face I, do, and the moral high ground. And then this is what I saw. Yeah, so you can see why you don't <laughs> touch your face. Remember how you always get mad at me? Uh, Whoa, well, I always gotta wash my hands. I don't like washing my hands. Even when you gotta always take a shower, too. Because you get all those germs off. You gotta say, I don't like taking a shower. I did take a shower. See, I just touched my face. There you go. So On average, we touch normal, our face 16 face, times so. an hour. Not so I just touch my hands, so... It's impossible so to catch a virus directly through your hands. hands. It's as futile as shooting the outer surface of the my, Death Star. Mama, the problem you is we use our hands to help the virus out here? by constantly no, giving it a ride to our figurative Death Star exhaust points. Can you touch your feet? No, don't touch your feet and touch your face. Look. Because of this, I ran another experiment with some of the kids after lunch. First, I had them put some lotion on their hands that also glows under a black light. But then I told them I made a mistake and used the wrong lotion. Can you guys just wash, go wash your hands real quick. I do a good washing, right? Yeah, do the right washing, okay? I just tricked you guys again. Because what I really wanted to do is test how good you are at washing your hands. Let's see so how good they are. You think they now. wash their hands good or no? Show me your hands. Let's see. But before I show you how effective they actually were at washing their hands, here's what you should quickly know about viruses. Yeah. They're super tiny, but viruses. also the most you abundant biological that? entity on the planet. In fact, there's over 10 million viruses in any wow. single drop of seawater. And a lot of types of viruses are beneficial to the planet's ecosystem. And only an insanely tiny percentage affect humans at all. And they're really simple. Viruses are basically a shell with some DNA inside, and they just want to spread and duplicate. That's their only goal. <laughs> but they're so He's simple that they need a host now. to do that. So they reproduce by this infecting their host cells, want him and then trick them to become so like virus that just make ear. more exact yeah. copies of the virus. When you get sick and then cough or sneeze or wipe your nose Look, and touch the surface, you're putting copies of this Look. virus out to find other hosts and just repeat the process. And so here's what the kids' mm. hands look like after washing their so hands. So they wash their oh, hands good. Oh, the one more spot. Uh, oh, no, his fingernails are dirty. Oh, Ew. He didn't wash his thumb. Ew. We all sort of have a habitual way of washing our hands. So once again, so I tried this myself seconds, using you the want, you typical quick hands. way I do it in my muscle memory. Granted, that's, that's better than nothing, but you can see the difference oh, compared to when I was see, deliberate and took 20 seconds. seconds. Which is so why it better helps to do things seconds. like sing the happy birthday song twice, or you could mm -hmm. do what I do, and follow Brandon Flowers' example. Jealousy, turn insane to eager eyes, cause I'm Mr. Right Side. My nose. <laughs> and then for a final experiment, I wanted no, to show how to dumb he is. So I infected the first kid with the powder and then had them do a oh. handshake chain. Well, that's what we're gonna do. The Let's fifth do person here still this had significant traces we're on not their gonna, hands. No. So I put hand him at the first and lined so four more kids up after him, do... and three of their hands glowed. No, hand, no, we're not doing no handshake. We're gonna do all the way down eight handshakes later. So if you ever meet me in real life, distance. please don't be offended. Hair yeah, shaking is cancel. 2020 cancel. Mama, I ain't got gloves. What does so this all mean with regards to okay, the virus COVID-19? Right? You should be concerned to take this seriously, but regardless of what you see in the coming weeks, there's absolutely no need to panic. As I'm sure you've heard a bunch by now, our goal is to flatten the curve so that reported cases stay just under the capacity of the healthcare system. And social distancing is the best knob that we can turn to affect that. You don't want to be dirty with all that. should more sense after watching this video. You reaction. Okay. And my take here is I'm a practical I'm optimist. The upside is while Stop. this virus is bad, it could be way worse. And this yeah. gives us a chance as a global community to get some systems and methods yeah. in place. To do better. To we gotta do better at washing our hands, staying clean. Also, when you sneeze, cover your mouth. When you cough, like when you sneeze, cover your nose. When you cough, when people cover your mouth. Thinking it's okay to mingle about this bump, elbow. We're not gonna be don't be touching. My hands when you cancel. A year, due in large part to people not touch your nose, touch me. We don't so do this all that. This experience makes people more socially think, aware of the I right precautions to take when they get sick. That will save countless lives nope. for years to come, long Why? after this coronavirus is over. And make me. no mistake, this is going to be good for some more than others. <laughs> but history has shown that us humans are pretty resilient. These types of things can bring out the worst in us. They fight it over toilet paper. The best, most wholesome parts of us, like these Italians practicing their social distancing with an improv. Hey, pay attention. 
how we feel about the situation is that largely is dependent on just which part we choose to focus on. For me, that means being grateful to the heroes in our healthcare system, or the yes, school lunch thank ladies you so much providing to the free lunch for kids people. who depend on oh, them, nurses, or the scientists doctors, all over the world who are so working tirelessly seven days a week to create better testing methods and a vaccine. Yeah. This is going to be a bumpy ride for us, but the economy will eventually bounce back, as yeah. it always does, and we'll be better off as a global community. Yeah, we're going to learn from this, we're going to grow from this, and do better, okay? Absolutely no need this, to everything going on with this coronavirus thing selling out. Coronavirus is getting so crazy. People talk about make sure you subscribe so to this channel. Just happened filming at their school. The principal came over to the PA to make an announcement. Because of this virus, we are going to be closing school for three weeks. Wow. Oh. That's it. Look at them. They happy. They don't know that they're gonna have to do homework at home. Ah! <laughs> You it's thought you're gonna be playing Fortnite? Really they gonna have packages for you, boo boo. Is they treat their trials Fortnite, and challenges better, as opportunities for growth. Give me my kids back. Give me my. And while these are my, difficult my, times, now that our schedules have Fortnite, been totally cleared, we've my, potentially a once in a lifetime opportunity to invest in ourselves. And there's no better way to do this than by joining the online community. And y'all better stop taking all that hand sanitizer and wipes off. Every people need that. Easy to follow premium classes with no ads. And y'all better clean up yourselves. And everything from learning cash like I used for my bills to baking. Mm -hmm. 101 to graphic design to learning to paint with watercolor. They have a simple user-friendly class for pretty much anything you've ever wanted to learn. I'm currently taking a class Everyone, on interior design from Emily Henderson for a cool shop building. And you should feel confident joining up for Skillshare yourself <laughs> because people are using Skillshare to sign up for uh, videos. I don't start it. Yeah, I don't start it. Yeah, with them clothes and them headphones. And I'm still on what are you guys doing tonight? And given the current situation, Skillshare will donate a portion of the proceeds from every yeah, trial to sick. the nonprofit No Kid <laughs> Hunger. This is especially critical right now for kids money. from food insecure okay. homes I'm who won't be getting lotion. school lunches. So basically everybody wins here. Once again, use the link in the video description oh gosh, to get your two so months free from Skillshare and then go have you fun know, learning you know. and making yourself a better you human in the process. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Wow. Man, that's some pretty cool videos. Make sure y'all subscribe to him. Awesome. Well, guys, that is the end of the video. We hope Since that I you... Since I my nose, I'm about to go wash my hands. <laughs> Dalen is panicking now about this whole video. But we well, hope you guys learned something my... from this video. It's so important to wash your hands. Make sure you're not touching your yes. mouth, your nose, or your eyes because those are sensitive areas and you can't get sick or so can infected. So, so make sure you're we taking watching, the proper so, precautions. So we're not. So we please so take care of yourself. So when we was watching the movie, I touched my. I just touched my eyes. So mm -hmm. and what happened? It started hurting, right? Mm -hmm, but yep. And when I tell you go wash your hands and you rubbed it again and it was okay, right? Yep. So you always gotta wash your hands, okay? When mama I tell you and mommy tell you to wash your hands, you gotta do it, okay? Leave them all. <laughs> Stop, bro. <laughs> Uh, we really have a brother and sister relationship. Like so I'm his aunt, look at my hand. but we act like brothers and sisters. Everybody, look at my hand. Do you see some weird <coughs> stuff right here? Uh oh, mm -hmm. let me. Uh oh, let me see. Oh my God, look, y'all see it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're gonna end this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. So, when I was the way I started that, so I started play baseball. So I'm about to get. When I be ten, I'm about to get in the big boy baseball. Okay. So, 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 so somebody gonna have the ball in their hand. Then I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna it. have the bat. Then I'm gonna hit it. I'm right. gonna be super, like you did, like you did this, like you did today. Right. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna hit it. And I'm so far, I will hit it. So far, under the fence, people gonna be like. Oh, damn, you hit really good. That was a really good throw, Damon. Yeah, that was a it. really good hit, Damon. All right, well, guys, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs so, up. Mama, so, Leave us a comment. So, so, subscribe to our channel. Follow us on our Instagram. Follow us on our Facebook and our TikTok. So every, we'll be see you guys later. Bye. You guys should do another again. video. Bye. Bye. Bye.